Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to practically demonstrate a Java program to print the number pattern, which looks like this. So let's write the code. First thing we need to find about this pattern is how many rows are there in this pattern, guys. For writing the code, we need to find out how many rows are there in this pattern. First row, second row, third row, fourth row, fifth row. Total, how many rows are there in this pattern? Total number of rows in this pattern are five. So to accommodate that, to accommodate that, we have to create a for loop here, which will iterate how many number of times? Should iterate this many number of times, number of rows, okay? Number of row times. So for that, we'll create the for loop here for int i is equal to one, starting from one till how many times? This for loop should iterate till five times. i less than or equal to five. In every iteration, we need to increment the value of i by one, i plus one. So it will start with one, in every iteration, it will increment by one till it becomes five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. So this for loop will iterate how many times? Five times. Now inside this for loop, we have to write the code for printing the numbers. As you can see the numbers here, one, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, right? This kind of pattern we have to print, guys. Okay. And here, one more thing you need to observe is only one number is there in the first row. Two numbers are there in second row. Three numbers are there in third row. Four numbers are there in fourth row and five numbers are there in the fifth row and also these numbers are starting from right to left only one number so one is there but here if two numbers are there the first number is in the right position followed by two which is there in the left side one two like this so we have if there are three numbers in the row one starting from right to the left left side so one two three like that starting from right to left side four fourth row four numbers one two three four if there are five numbers, one, two, three, four, five. So how to get this kind of pattern? For that, guys, uh, we can write a simple logic here for int j is equal to, in the first iteration, one should be printed. So I'll say j is equal to i, guys. In second iteration, when i becomes two, so here, first two will be printed, right? Initially, i is two, so j is equal to two. So it will start from two, guys, like that. That's the reason I mentioned j is equal to i. The first iteration, only one will be printed. And in second iteration, the first number to be printed should be, when i becomes two, the first number to be printed is j. That is j is equal to two. Like that, guys, so we have to write the logic. j is, uh, is equal to i, j greater than or equal to one. Then j minus minus, we have to say. You'll understand this logic, guys. I'll explain uh, this logic in more detail now. System.out.println. Instead of this print ln, guys, we have to use the normal print statement. Okay, we should not be using the print ln here. So we have to use a normal print statement. Inside this uh, print statement, we have to print what guys? We have to print j value. Okay, the value stored in the j variable, we have to print. This j we have to print. Whatever the current value of j, that will be printed in this print statement. Using this print statement, the, the value of j will be printed. Fine, that's fine. So here, let's understand the logic now. Initially, when you run this code, initial value of i will be one, right? Initially, i will be one. So one less than or equal to five will be true. So we'll go inside the uh, for loop and uh, the inner for loop will come where j is equal to i. That means what guys? j is equal to i means j will become what? When I say j is equal to i, the current value of i is one. So j also becomes one, right? So one greater than or equal to one. Yes, one, one is equal to one. So this condition will, True will be true and we'll go inside this inner for loop and here what will be printed? One will be printed. So the value of j that is one will be printed here like this. This one will be printed. After that, j minus minus will happen. So j will become what guys? From one to zero minus minus zero it will become. So here zero greater than or equal to one is false. So we'll come out of this for loop. But here guys, after printing this uh, one here, after printing this one here, the next number should be printed in the new row, right? The first row one got printed. The next number should be printed in the new row. For that, the, the, the cursor or the, okay, the position has to come here. Before printing this, we have to move to the new row. For that, okay, for that, we have to write a print ln statement here. So the control, after printing one here, after printing one here, the control has to go to the new row. For that reason, we have to write after the end of this for loop, we have to 
say print ln so that we'll go to the new line so we went to the new line here and uh, after going to the new line here i plus plus will happen so i will become what 2 still 2 is greater than or equal to uh, sorry 2 is less than or equal to 5 is true so we'll go inside the for loop and here j is equal to i means j is equal to j will become 2 okay and 2 greater than or equal to 1 yes 2 is greater than or equal to 1 that's correct so here j will be printed so what will be printed 2 will be printed so here 2 got printed after 2 guys we need to print a space guys okay well, after 2 we have to print a space so you see every num every numbers here have some space in between right so to make that happen when you are printing the number itself just print some space guys this will solve the problem okay when you are printing the number itself let's say if you are printing 2 in the second row immediately along with the number print some space like this print some space that will be good okay 2 along with space should be printed so fine you printed 2 and space then after that here j minus minus will happen so j will become from 2 to 1 1 greater than or equal to 1 still true so we'll go here and here what will be printed in the current value of j 1 will be printed you see one got printed along with some space like this okay two space one space kind of then after that we have to go to the new row the control has to go to the new row for that again this print ln statement will be there anyhow this iteration will end guys after j becomes one the next iteration after printing one j minus minus j will become zero this condition will become false and will come out of the for loop then we'll go to the new row okay and again i plus plus i will become three here and i becomes three this condition will be true we'll go inside here j is equal to i means starting from three till how many numbers one three two one okay so here when you print j first uh, three will be printed then two will be printed then one will be printed you see three will be printed two will be printed one will be printed again we'll go to the new line new row after that i will become four when i becomes four starting from four till one four three two one in every iteration four three two one will be printed you see 4, 3, 2, 1 will be printed and we'll go to the new line or new row because of this print element. Finally, I will become 5 and here j is equal to 5 till j becomes 1. So 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, here j will be printed. Every iteration j will be printed. So 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 will be printed. And finally, and finally guys, this will go to the new row and uh, I will become 6, 6 less than or equal to 5, false will come out of the for loop. So the expected output or pattern is printed, will be printed guys. Using this logic, the expected pattern will be printed. Hope you understood the logic. Now let's remove all these comments. Uh, these comments are not necessary now. Let's simply save this code and run this, run this code so that you will get this kind of output. One, one, two, I mean, one, two, one, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, five, four, three, two, one should be printed now. That should be the expected output. Let's see whether we get the expected output or not. Yes, we got the expected output. You see, 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 got printed. So hope guys, you understood how to write a Java program to print the number pattern, which looks like this. So that's it guys. Thank you. Bye.